This video is designed to show you how to construct a diagram on a systematic step-by-step -step basis, whereby no matter what the question is, you will always be able to answer to a very high standard. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna draw the diagram, and then underneath it, we'll also write out the step. So let's go. Step one. Every single time you have to do a cost and revenue diagram, I always want you to start with the MC curve. Now, what does the MC curve look like? It looks like a Nike tick. And the best thing about Nike is their slogan, just do it. So step one is just do it. Draw the MC curve. Step two, draw AR and MR. Now remember the relationship between average revenue and marginal revenue is always that they are half the slope of one another. So draw the AR and MR. Now, step three, what would you do now? The vast majority of students that I ask always say, oh, I would draw the AC curve now. No. I never, ever, ever want you to draw the AC curve at this point. It'll make a lot more sense later in the video, but hear me out. The next step always is to go to the profit maximizing level of output. Now you should know that the profit maximizing level of output is where marginal cost, MC, is equal to marginal revenue, MR. So what I'd like you to do is to dot down from that particular point. That is the quantity that this firm is producing. Now. Let's just go on a quick tangent, really quickly. If I were to draw you a demand curve over here, and I said to you with absolute 100% certainty that this was the quantity that we're producing, is it possible or impossible for you to tell me what the price is? Well, it's possible. All you have to do is you dot up until you hit the demand curve and dot across to get the price. If that's the quantity, it must be the case that the supply curve is intersecting at that exact point for that to be the quantity, right? Let's go back to this diagram then. Do you know the quantity? Yeah, the quantity is where MC equals MR, Q1. Do you have a demand curve? Well, we know that the average revenue curve is the demand curve. So step four is dot up from Q1 until you hit the AR curve, dot across, that is your price. Now, just before we draw the AC curve, I wanna go on a quick tangent to just make more sense of what this diagram is actually depicting up until this point in time. Remind me again what the formula is for average revenue. Well, average revenue is simply total revenue divided by quantity. So, really basic maths. Let's rearrange that formula to make TR the subject. TR would therefore equal AR times Q. Let's look at our diagram. Do we have the quantity? Of course we have the quantity. Do we have the average revenue? Of course we have the average revenue. In other words, P times Q at this moment in time is the total revenue. And you already know that from the formula TR equals P times Q. So that area at the moment on our diagram represents the total revenue that this firm is generating. Before we draw the, the last step of the diagram, let's go back over here again. Now give me the formula for average cost. Well. It's TC, total cost, divided by quantity, Q. Rearrange it again. Let's make total cost the subject. TC equals AC times Q. Again, do you have the quantity? Yes, you do have the quantity. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, it is the importance of determining the quantity first. Because that quantity, everything stems from there. Wherever your AC curve hits that dotted line where Q is, that will be your total cost. And now the next step is to draw your AC curve. And the reason why I get you to wait until this particular moment in time is because you can manipulate it to illustrate whatever you need it to show. If you need it to show supernormal profits, well, you need to make sure that it hits that dotted line below the price. If you need it to show normal profits, you need to make sure that it hits it exactly the same point where the price hits it. If you need it to show making losses, you shift it or you position it so that it's above the price. Now in our particular diagram over here, let's make them make super normal profit. So the next step is to draw average cost. Just make sure that you do two things. One, that when it hits that dotted line, it's below the price. And number two is that it must be the lowest point when it intersects the MC curve. A good way of doing that is if you put your pen on the MC curve and then draw outwards from that point, you'll always make sure that that is the bottom of your AC curve. So you'll see our AC curve over here. The very final step is I go up from Q1 until I hit the AC curve and then I dot across from that point. 
I always want you to label that C1. Keep prices as P's, costs as C's. So, let's go back again. What area represents total revenue? Well, it's P times Q. What area now represents your total cost? It's C1 times Q. Can you see that your revenue exceeds your total cost by that little segment up there? That is your super normal profits. And it's as simple as that.